Hey Scorpios, I hope that you're all doing well and that everything is great in your world. Uh, please note these are general messages and they're not going to resonate for everybody. So just take what does apply to your situation and leave the rest. If nothing applies, then that's okay. Just let it go. Let it be. Um, also, please note that this reading, if it does apply to you, it could have been something that has already happened and it's just confirming it for you. It could be something that is happening for you right now, or it's possible that it could even happen in the future, right? Uh, I, I get emails, like I said, a lot where people <laughs> will write to me and say, wow, Kelly, you know, what you read a couple months ago, it didn't seem like it was going to resonate for me at all, and then all of a sudden it happened, you know, or uh, a divorce came through or something in the month that a reading I suggested it would come through. So please keep an open mind, all right? It's always good to have an open mind when uh, coming to these things. But also, don't give anybody your personal power. Uh, so this goes for cross-watchers as well. Don't give any tarot reader your um, personal power. You have a choice. And that's why an outcome is never final. As well, energies can shift in a moment like that. Okay? So... What do I have for you guys? If you're separated with somebody, then this is the reading for you. I feel as though um, some of you may have gone through a separation or possibly you're already separated and have been for a while. Um, I feel as though you may not have shown your emotions very much. You may not have communicated a lot in terms of how you were feeling. I think that that made the other person feel left out in a sense because they were lacking emotional fulfillment. They felt sad. They felt empty. They didn't feel the connection with you that they wanted to. Maybe they felt that you were bored with them. Maybe they felt that you weren't happy with them at all and so they may have pulled back a little bit and maybe that's something you didn't know is that they were wanting you to be more emotionally available for others of you you may have been on the fence trying to decide between the person that you're thinking of now and somebody else and maybe you chose somebody else and now that person that you chose didn't work out. And now maybe you want this initial person back. So you could have been on the fence for a little while and really trying to decide what it was that you wanted that would make you the happiest. But I think that there could have been a little bit of regret because maybe you know now how sad this person was because they were devastated. That's what I'm saying here. They were absolutely devastated when you left. They were not happy in life. Some of these people, whoever it is, they were so distraught that they, they didn't even... I feel like they hid out for a while. They could have been in a real depressive state for a little while and they probably weren't even accepting offers even though offers were coming in for them. They really, really, really felt for you. You could have been dealing with another water sign, to be honest, and they felt a lot for you. And I think that their heart really broke when they felt that you didn't want them. The, the sadness is incredible from these two cards. In the present, what I have is deception. So, I feel like you're putting on a brave face. Um, you may even be getting recognition. But I feel as though you're acting as though you're just absolutely happy. Everything is fine. You're doing great. You're successful. You know, you've got your victory wreath. You're, you're galloping through the crowds, holding your head high. But I think that that's a false mask. 
And I think that the reason why you're doing it is because the person that you're thinking about, they might be giving their attention to somebody else because they may have found their self-worth again. I feel as though they're looking good, they're feeling good, they look sexy, they look attractive, they, they're really knocking it out the park, if you will. They're the sunflower in the room. They, they have a lot of sex appeal as well. And I feel like they might be giving their attention elsewhere and maybe you want to get back together with them. Because the want position I've got for giving and learning. And then when I pull the two cards for what it is that Scorpio wants, and with that forgiving and learning, is the Magician in reverse as well as the Ten of Swords, I feel like you want to be forgiven for being tricky and not really being straightforward, especially if you had two people on the go here and you couldn't decide which one, and then you left and now you want this person back, I think you want to be forgiven for that choice that you made and for the pain that you caused the person because there's all of these swords in the back and maybe the person that you left this initial person for, whoever caught your eye or the one that you chose may have backstabbed and betrayed you. And now I think that you want the forgiveness from that. But this person, what they want, is the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they don't want a relationship. They don't want to give this another go, unfortunately. They don't want to give it another go because they want to keep working on themselves. They're happy, they're doing exceptionally well. And keep in mind, it, if you resonate with the other person's energy, then this can switch as well, okay? So go ahead and switch up the energies as it applies to yourself. But I feel like this person now is doing well on their own and they don't want to get back into a relationship, unfortunately. Because the Knight of Cups is in reverse, and to me, that's a, that's the relationship card. They don't want to open up their emotions again, and they don't want to get hurt because they really went through this crazy devastation the last time. So, what you need to know is, let your friends help you. And then, interestingly, the two cards that came for you were the Six of Cups, as well as the Seven of Pentacles. So maybe this person hasn't given you the answer yet, but we'll get to what their answer is. Well, we pretty much did back here, but I'll let you know as well. But what you need to know is really lean on your friends or family right now for some support because you're definitely living in the past here with that Six of Cups, you're reminiscing about the good days, the time. Maybe you're even thinking about how pure and honest this person was to you and how good they were to you. The innocence of it all. Maybe you knew them from childhood. Or maybe you met them in the place that you grew up in. Maybe they felt very familiar to you, like home. Or this is just a matter of... What you need to know is that your friends are willing to help you, and it's probably good to do that. And they'll help you get through this period because I don't feel like you even know the answer yet from this person. You might have been trying to contact them and get their attention again, but I see you standing back here and you're just waiting. You're like, so what's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? Um, what I've got for them, what they need to know, you could be dealing with Pisces because you've got the hanged man here. They need to know that you're not 
with this other person and that you're not planning on taking off again. They need to know that you are actually fixated on them. Now, that you will be stable and reliable and, and you'll show up this time. Or at least that's what this energy is saying now. So cross watchers, if you have a Scorpio that's, you know, wanting to come back, even if they're not saying it because of this King of Cups energy and this Two of Swords energy, somebody who holds back their emotions, even if they're not saying as much, they do want to come back. They don't have somebody else on the go right now. And, and they're, they're fixed on you. So for the advice, I have let go of control issues. The advice for you, Scorps, is to let down your guard. Really open up. If you want this person back, they're asking that you not be so defensive and so cold. They're asking that you really make this decision and stick to it. You know, like, and be fair and honest and truthful. Don't try to control the outcome by, um, I think that's what this is about with this deception. I think Spirit is saying don't, don't try to control the outcome by maybe making them jealous or making them think that you're doing so incredibly well on your own. Because I'm getting the sense that this is the type of person who needs to hear it. They need you to communicate. They need you to communicate that you are hurt without them. That, with that uh, wounded warrior energy. They need to hear that no matter how happy a picture you're painting here, it's not the truth because really, I think this person is just taking things at face value. I think that that's how innocent they are. Maybe that's why I was looking at that um, that white flower in that card. They are so innocent. They could even be a little bit naive and gullible. But it's like, if you show them that you're doing well, then they'll believe you. And then they'll think, okay, well, you know, Scorpio doesn't want me anyway. Scorpio is happy without me, so they're going to continue working on their own. And maybe that's why... They're not even thinking about forgiving me is because maybe they're getting mixed messages from you. So your, your advice is to communicate. Communicate the truth that you do miss them, that you do still love them if you do, that you do still care about them, that you do want the forgiveness. Even, even if you open up and at least, you know, tell the truth that you made the wrong decision. Because this is about the truth, this Queen of Swords energy. Now I know that could be very, 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 very hard. <laughs> I have a lot of Scorpios in my life, and to hear them say I'm sorry, no. And it, sometimes people need to hear those words, because that's what brings that emotional bonding. So maybe that might be the step to opening you guys up to coming back together again, right? But that, I mean, again, you're going to do what you're going to do. That's just the advice from Spirit. That's just the advice from the cards. Of course, toss it if you, you don't like it. <laughs> you just get off my back. It's your choice, your life. And then the advice for this person is... To realize that they might be a little stubborn as well in their approach. Maybe maybe they're being a little too overprotective of themselves right now and maybe they need to re realize that they're thinking because they might be thinking that it's all broken promises, it's not going to be reliable, that their dreams are going to be shattered, that if they invest again, they're just going to get hurt. But I think that if you open up and you communicated and you really showed them your underbelly, that would turn that energy around. I don't know. Let's see. What is the advice? Spirit, what is the advice, please, for Scorpio in this situation? So 
Surrender stubbornness. There you go. There's that nine of wands as well, uh, being very guarded. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. That's what I was just saying about being willing to open up a little bit more. There's some words here I think that this person needs to hear, right? This will help you communicate. Oh, look at that. Communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Now, in fairness too, you may have gone through a lot and that's why you're holding back. But if we continue to do the same thing over and over and over and expect a different result, we won't be able to get a different result, right? Because we're still doing the same thing that hadn't worked in the past. So if you have, I guess this card is saying, if you have this tendency to hide yourself and hide your emotions, that could be the, the key of what needs to change in order to really truly get connected with somebody. Now, let's see what the advice is for the other person. What do we got for the other person? Surrender defensiveness. Yeah, see? Didn't I say that with that Knight of Pentacles in reverse here? They, they are so... You could be dealing with a fire sign as well, but there's lots of water here because you have, the, like I said, the Pisces, uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio here with that Knight of Cups in reverse. You've got the Four of Cups and five cups, so a lot of water here. So I feel like there was a lot of love here, and this person has a lot of love, or had for that matter, but love just doesn't disappear. So I feel like this person will open up again. So cross watcher, if you are watching, you gotta surrender this, this um, defensiveness, because as you needed to know here, Scorpio doesn't have somebody else, they're waiting. They're, they're the hanged man right now. They're, they're waiting on you. They chose you. The arm in this picture is pointing to the hanged man. That's who they want. So they're waiting on you. So it's saying surrender defensiveness because this defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. So that's, maybe that's what the issue is too. It's possible, maybe you've tried to communicate with this person in the past, but they haven't listened enough. So cross watchers, that, that could be something for you guys here too, that you, you need to listen, listen more. Maybe this person isn't so much full of words, but maybe they do say things here or there. And maybe they don't say it all of the time. And you know what, I'm bad for that too. I, I, I love hearing, um, I love you from my partner, if I have one, but right now I'm happy with him. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. But I like hearing it too a lot, because I think that's just part of the love languages that we all have. But maybe the sport just doesn't show their love by telling you every day that they love you. And Crosswatcher, if you really do love Scorpio and you don't want to lose them, you might just need to say, can you tell me that you love me three times a week? <laughs> Even just three? Can we compromise? <laughs> you know, like there, where there's a will, there's a way. There, there can be some give and take here, is what I'm getting. <laughs> like, ask them. So, that's what I've got for you guys. Uh, let's take a, a look at what might be coming in the future for this connection. What would be coming in the future if Scorpio communicated to their person? What would be coming in the future? What would their person do? Wedding. <laughs> well, if you open up, <laughs> look at that, Scorps. They just might be off to the altar with you. <laughs> That's kind of sweet. It's like they told me they love, Scorps said they love me. <laughs> Let's get married. <laughs> Let's see, uh, I'll get a clarification for you, and then I'll get one for your partner. So what is this wedding card about? Clarification for Scorp? They might propose to you. Yeah, see, because 
there's that seven of cups in reverse, I feel like you'll have made your decision that this is going to be your life. You're not going to be enamored looking around like, oh, it's got to be somebody else now. Now I think that this will be the one for you, and you're going to realize that. Let's see if this person pops the question. <laughs> what is wedding for the other person? Yeah, they're definitely, the situation is going to move out of those rough waters into a life of calm waters, healing, and headed towards marriage. Aw, that's so sweet. All right, you guys, that's what I got for you. I hope that uh, it helped, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your night. <laughs> Talk to you guys again soon. Bye.